What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boxing Clinic one time. For the one time, y'all know what it is. And uh, shout out to the LDBC, YTBC, everybody on this YouTube Boxing Grind. And um, according to Dan Rayfield, um, you know, Miguel Cotto tried to strike a deal with uh, Mikey Garcia, Danny Garcia, and Jesse Vargas. Um, you know, no deals were struck. And um, so he went to Saddam Ali, which, you know, from what I'm getting, the feedback I'm getting back from that fight is, it's terrible, it's horrible. Um, you know, some people understand because this is Miguel Cotto's retirement fight, farewell fight, and if he doesn't fight again, some people are okay with it. I'm with that. I'm okay with it if he retires. And um, on this note, you know, just just lead the game, you know. Um, but this just tells me that um, he wasn't trying to fight anybody at 154 pounds um, or 160 that was, uh, relevant, and most of the 154 pounders are tied up, um, and he wasn't, he's, he, he was like, oh, we, we think we could be Triple G, it was all smoke screens and talk from Freddie Roach, um, I don't think they were trying to make that fight happen, um, you know, according to what Dan Reefield saying, he was trying to make three fights with guys that's below 154, he didn't try to reach out to Billy Joe Saunders, I think that would have been a good fight for him, him and Billy Joe, um, he didn't try, it sounds like he didn't try to make a deal with Billy Joe Saunders. Um, I told you guys about the David Lemieux thing. That was another smoke screen. What Miguel Cotto wants is to be able to be the super A side to basically these guys C side. None of these guys bought into it. He probably wanted these guys to come all the way up to 154 and, and fight. That's probably what it was or catch weight like 153 or 153 and he wanted the lion's share of the money. And you're dealing with two Al Heyman guys that's going to want, you know, equal compensation to Mikey Garcia and Danny Garcia. Um, we know Danny Garcia is not about to go above 147 and fight Miguel Cotto. We know Miguel Cotto can't make 147 no more. Otherwise, he would have made the Marquez fight happen. Mikey Garcia was willing to go up to 154 pounds, but it sounds like the numbers wasn't right. The money wasn't right for Mikey Garcia to make that jump. So um, it probably was a line of a 60-40 split. And I don't think anybody here was trying to take a 60-40 split on that money. Um, and it is what it is. And Jesse Vargas um, is in, was in contract disputes with top rank. So maybe that's why he didn't move up and take it. But I don't think anybody wants to move up to 154 pounds for Cotto. And then you have to defend that belt versus all those boogie monsters up there if they're fighting for the WBO belt. Um, I don't know what happened with Kale Brook. Maybe he doesn't feel like he's ready. I don't think Miguel Cotto won to fight Kale Brook. The fight was supposed to happen around the time Kell Brook fight Gennady Golovkin. HBO wanted to buy the fight. Um, somebody didn't want the fight. Now I, I presume it was Miguel Cotto. You know, um, you know it is what it is on this note for Cotto. Um, fight this bullshit ass fight and never be seen or heard or heard again in a boxing ring. I'm cool with him fighting Sanam Ali. It's a non-competitive fight. Um, it's funny some people saying, "Oh, this is shit fight," and I've seen these other guys say. You know, other fights were good, gonna be good that that were shit. You know, but it's, it sounds like everybody's in unison saying this fight is shit for the most part, especially on YouTube. And I'm not gonna argue a fight with you. It is probably is shit. Saddam Ali is no longer an undefeated um, guy. It's a blueprint how to beat him, um, and he ain't fought nobody on the comeback trail, in my opinion, that I'm aware of that's relevant. But um, you know, Golden Boy tried to strike a deal up with with these three guys. Sounds like Miguel Cotto was asking too much from these guys, so the fights didn't happen. I don't blame these guys. You're going with your career at 135, 140 for Mikey, 147 for, for Danny, and whatever in, in store for Jesse Vargas at 147. We gone.